hey, good morning and welcome back to another video. So last night I had a dream about a McDonald's breakfast. Of all the things I could have dreamt about, it was that. So now all I've had in my mind this morning is a McDonald's breakfast. So I've just pulled up and I'm gonna go get one. Look at the weather, absolutely miserable. I know summer's just gone, but can it please hurry up again? Do you know, I can't even tell you the last time I had a McDonald's breakfast. We didn't even have one in America, did we? Oh, Monopoly's back. Oh, I love Monopoly. 335 calories just in that. Normally, I just buy the patties in Audi's now, making myself at home, less calories. But for some reason today, I really wanted one. All fed and watered. Actually, I've eaten far too much. I'm really full. But we just pulled up to our local retail park because I need to get a charger for my MacBook. I have no idea what make and model it is. Actually, I know it's an Apple, but I don't even know what model it is. I've had it for so long. I even went into the settings and it didn't tell me. So that's why I bought the whole blinking MacBook. I need to get a charger. My charger just doesn't work. It's kind of snapped. I think a lot of the Apple products, the leads snap after a while, don't they? So I'm gonna go get a charger because otherwise if I don't have a charger, this doesn't load and then if this doesn't load I can't get my videos out so that is my next job right and then I did say to get in we're gonna head to b and I've started putting away for Christmas now the dreaded C word is on its way honestly it feels like we've just got over the last Christmas but I'm starting to put bits and bobs away because it's just so expensive this time of year right where's he gone what did you just say when I saw all the autumn stuff Wow. <laughs> I do like that though. Autumn wishes and cozy kisses. I love that the UK are bringing all the autumn stuff here now. You could only used to get it in America. That's a nice wreath, isn't it? The smell of pumpkin candles. <laughs> you sound like Tyler, he hates the smell of the pumpkin candles. I came in for a Christmas wreath, but I like that one. Do you know what? This has made me realize we still haven't had a mirror for our hallway yet. Yeah, but if you can get around for the last two years, it's to done you I do need one, I just haven't found the one that I want. Oh my god, get look how scary that is. What does it do? Should I I'm too scared to press it. I stepped back just in case it jumped out. But that's horrible as well. Oh, they're horrible. I am tempted to pick up a paddle board for the boys for Christmas. They absolutely loved it last week down in Saundersfoot. But I think I might just wait until the winter when they go in the sale. I like that one. But then I also like the candy cane ones. And I'm going with that theme, I think, this year. Candy cane. No, candy cane for outside. I know I just bought new already, but... Oh, there they are. I wanted this one, but in a different color. It was more white. Oh, there it is. Is that it, Hayden? Nope. I did manage to get a charger for my Mac. I went into the store, asked them if they had one in stock because I had seen one online that they had one in stock. And he said, nope, nothing here. He didn't even go on his iPad in all fairness to have a little look. He just said, nope, none here. So I came back to the car, went back online and they said they had one in stock. So I went back in and showed them my phone and the new assistant, she was really, really helpful. She said, yep, yeah, I'll go get that one for you. So I did manage to get one. Then we went to B&M. Nothing really in B&M. Even their Christmas decorations this year are not that fantastic. And then we went to the range and I got sucked in by the paddle boards, but I'm not gonna get one of them yet. I'm gonna look at them maybe the winter time when they go in the sale, hopefully. But I did pick up some waterproof trousers for Carter. They were in the sale. He needs them now for his school trip that he's going on. He did have a pair on his last school trip. Guess what he left? His waterproof trousers. So I had to pick up them. But now the only exciting thing that's gonna happen in the next hour is a trip to Asda's. Do you know what? I have been looking for one of these online after I seen a TikTok. I'll explain that a little bit later when I get home, but look at the price here. It was 12.50, now nine pound. On Amazon, they're like 25 quid. I wonder if they got any pumpkin scent. Oh, they do get. They got pumpkin apple muffins. Tyler will crack if I buy any more. Yeah, we need ranch for what we're oh. making. You got, which one did you get? Only one there. Eh? Oh, is it? Yeah. Season fries is what we need. Where are you seeing that? Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, two we need, don't we? So cold in here. Wow. 
tonight we are recreating our meal that we had in Miller's. We loved it, so we. Oh, Marvin, okay, yeah. so, like... <laughs> what? Tonight, Matthew, we're going to be... He's forever taking the mick out of me. But tonight we're going to recreate the meal we had in Miller's when we were back in Florida. It would look so easy to make. I'm saying that now, it might be completely different when we try to recreate it. But I looked on the menu and they use seasonal fries, so that's what we grabbed in Asda's. We've got bacon bits, cheese sauce, ranch sauce, spring onions and chicken goujons. And I think then it was sweet chilli on the top. I'm saying it's easy. You watch now, trying to recreate it will be a completely different story. So the french fries have been in now for half an hour. I'm gonna pan fry the pancetta, make the cheese sauce, and I'm gonna try and put it all together. I think they made it look prettier in the restaurant though. Looking good so far. Is it restaurant worthy, do you think? How did you know? There we go. I do think it looks restaurant worthy if I do say so myself. So only on top now is the sweet chilli and the ranch. Hopefully it will taste exactly like the Miller's one. That meal was a winner. Everybody cleared their plates. Well, not everyone. I only ate half, but what's new there? But for a first attempt, it was pretty good. The only thing I would change out next time is the cheese sauce. I wouldn't buy the packet ones from Asda's. I would try and find an American cheese sauce. And I think then we've nailed it. But earlier I bought that Contigo flask. Is it Contigo? Yeah, Contigo flask. Now on TikTok, I saw a little hack and well, I think it's probably common sense, but she filled this up with hot dogs. You know the tin hot dogs you can get? And she put hot boiling water on it and then she had hot dogs down the beach. So I thought that was pretty good actually. I, something so easy, I never ever thought about it before. So we're gonna fill these up with hot dogs one night and we're gonna go chase the sunset down the beach. So that's why I bought that. And I did end up going with this one and not the Asda's own brand one. Even though it was half the price, the lid wasn't too good on it, but that's all it is, it's just like a hot water flask. So that's what I bought that for. But now I'm gonna go grab the boys and we're gonna go watch that new Pinocchio film on Disney Plus. Isn't that a catchy little tune? Well, how do? Cricket's the name, Jiminy Cricket, be precise. And I'm here to tell you one hot dinner of a tale. I think the lighting's gonna be horrific wherever I put the camera. I've got the sun beaming down on me, but what a difference in 24 hours. Yesterday it was like winter, and then today it's like summer all over again. But I'm not complaining, I will take this weather all day long. But the plan of action today, I'm about to go pick my mum and sister up. We're gonna go out for some lunch. Honestly, these vlogs must look like I eat 24-7, but honestly, I don't. Yesterday, I had that breakfast and that evening meal, and then today, 24 hours later, I'm having lunch. But in a 10-minute video, it looks like I'm constantly eating. So I'm going to go pick them up, and then I don't know what I'm going to do this evening. Oh, I forgot. I was just about to drive away in my bag. Actually, I don't think I've ever shown you this. I picked this up in Florida. Kate Spade crossbody bag. Best thing I ever bought. It comes in so handy. It is like a sauna in here. I have the windows all the way up, because otherwise, my neighbours will think I'm crazy just talking to myself but man it's like a hundred degrees in here I am sweating it's that time I have been putting off for a very long time I need these because in this Bath and Body Works bag, I picked up all these car fragrances that they had on sale. Normally they were $4.50, but I picked them up for $1.95 each, and then I bought the little cases that they go into. So today is the day that I finally get around to cleaning my car. I have been putting it off and putting it off since I got back from holiday, but the sun is shining, so there's no excuses today. And then in the next couple of days, it's meant to be raining, so I have to do that next. But whilst I grabbed the Bath and Body Works bag, I went upstairs and grabbed everything that I bought in Florida because I've had so many messages asking if I could do like a haul of what I got. 
Now I haven't bought much in all fairness, I could have bought a lot more. So everything is on the floor, there's no organisation going on over here. So I'm going to show you everything I got before I go clean the car. But keeping with Bath and Body Works, the first thing I got was the pumpkin cupcake hand soap. Now the boys go nuts with me, they say this time of year all my house smells of is pumpkins. <laughs> so I got a hand soap and then I also got just one candle. Now there's a story behind why I only have one candle. The day we got there we were in the Magic Kingdom and I had an email to say their candles were on sale for half price and we planned to go but we were so jet lagged we never managed to get to Bath and Body Works. Do you think I had an email then throughout the whole holiday saying they were on half price? No. Do you think I got an email when I got home saying they were half price? Yes. The day we landed, we had another email to say they were half price. I looked at my emails every day when we were out there, so I only managed to get one. But again, this one isn't a pumpkin one, it's more like a... Like when you... like a laundry, like when you do your washing. Like a linen smell. So I only got one candle this time. Normally I come back with about five. So. Bath and Body Works, I did buy something else. I bought their hand gels, white pumpkin, Sunrise Woods, cinnamon pumpkin, champagne toast, and I've got another one. I think they're all in my bag, but I've got another three pumpkin ones. And then that was all I got in Bath and Body Works. On our last shopping trip, I went into Kate Spade. Don't ask me why I only went once, because this is my favorite shop out there. Actually, there is a reason behind it, because if I had gone every other time we had gone to the premium outlets, I would have come home with a bag. So this time I only came home with one bag, which was a crossbody one. If you can see the colors, like a light pink. Now this was on sale, this went down to $97. They gave me a voucher when I walked in. I think it was like a 20 or 30% voucher off and I've used this every day since we've got back. Went to Target and picked up loads of snacks but they've been eaten now. I picked up Airheads, Cheetos, Goldfish, bought back cereal for the boys and then I bought back some Dunkin' Donut coffee which is really, really good. When we were shopping to Dollar Tree, I picked up a couple of things there. I'm trying to find them all. The Dollar Tree, no I didn't, I only bought one thing in Dollar Tree, which was this pumpkin sign. I bought a couple of signs actually, because we went to Marshall and Ross, and they had a few autumn full decorations in. So I picked up this one here. This one was $9.99, which goes in the kitchen. They had a sale on all their Ashland products, so I bought a garland with lights in it. This one went down to, I think this one went down to $10. And then I bought some little pumpkin lights to like weave into these ones. I did actually buy some wax melts in there as well, but they're in the cupboard. Again, pumpkin wax melts, they went down to $2. Now, this one was another big purchase, but I use these all the time, and that's my sunglasses. I've got super sensitive eyes, I've got blue eyes, but I've also had laser surgery as well, so my eyes are so sensitive, I even wear sunglasses in the winter. Now, I always buy cheap ones, but this time I thought I'd buy an expensive pair, hoping that they would last, so I bought a pair of Ray-Bans. Now these ones I wanted when we went to Rome in April, but they were a little bit more expensive. I'm so glad I held out until we went to Florida because they were about £30 cheaper. So I did buy my Ray-Bans. Where else did we go? Then I went to Five and Below and I bought a perfume. Now this is identical to the Britney Spears bottle. It doesn't smell anything like Britney Spears, but the bottle does, but the smell is so lovely. It's very tropical. So that was $5. I wish I picked up more because it's a nice everyday smelling. What else did we get? <laughs> this is a very random one, but wherever we go, whatever trip, I always take a first aid kit. Now these were on sale in Target. I just picked up a couple of their like wipes. So I bought, I always carry a Neospore with me because Carter falls everywhere. These are very handy. They were shout wipes. So if you get a stain, you can just wipe it off. And then wet ones. Now with all of buying all three of them. Oh, and also what was this? There we are, a Band-Aid. It's like an antiseptic foam. When I bought all these, this actually came free. So this was $10, I think. So I bought all of, oh, and also I bought some, sell not sellotape, plasters. They came with the pack as well. So I pack this now on all our trips, even if we go to the beach, if we go away for the weekend, and also I pack these for our holidays for when we go for a couple of weeks. 
Now, my last big purchase, you've seen it all in the vlogs, was my Disney bag. Absolutely love this one. Now, there's lounge fly bags everywhere in Florida, and I saw this one in the pavilion in France, and I had to get it. I've come to realize why I didn't see it anywhere at all in any of the shops out in Florida, and that's because this is the Disneyland Paris 30th edition, limited edition bag. Didn't even know that. Now, I'm gutted I didn't buy their ears, but we're going to Disneyland Paris now in December, so I'm gonna pick up the lounge fly ears to go with it. But this one was $95, I think. 95 or 100 with tax, but I absolutely love this one. But this is gonna start my collection now of lounge fly bags because I wish I picked up the rose gold one as well. Talking about expensive things, I picked up their spirit jerseys. I wanted the 50th anniversary jersey, but it didn't suit me the colors. It was a little bit too dark. I picked up their limited edition pink one, got to the till. It was meant to be 90, well, I thought it was meant to be $95, like any other spirit jersey, but it was the limited edition one, so it was $135, so I put it back. I was very sensible. And then the last collection that I did do, and this actually is killing my OCD, because I started collecting the 50th Starbucks mugs. Now, this is the Hollywood Studios one. I got the Animal Kingdom one. And then I got the Epcot one. Now, I went to go get the Magic Kingdom one. Do you think I could find the Magic Kingdom one anywhere? It was sold out absolutely everywhere. Could not find it. They didn't have any stock out the back. I asked in Disney Springs. I could not find one. I have looked on eBay since getting home and people are buying them in bulk and selling them for over a hundred pound each. Now my OCD is getting to me because I only have three of these on my shelf when I should have four. Now Gethin loves winding me up on that one. So if you do see a Magic Kingdom one, please let me know because I need to buy that one. And then the last thing I got was in Sephora. I just picked up my lip gloss, which is number 13, which is just the Sephora make. And that was everything I got. So I didn't do too bad. I'm just looking to make sure I haven't missed anything. No, that's everything. So I could have done a lot worse. So I think I did okay. But now I've been talking for 15 minutes. I need to get on with that car. I've just realized I've sat on the wet chair. Now my butt is soaking. But my car smells nice and fresh now. But I'm gonna finish it off with the Bath & Body Works air freshener. Now, I went and grabbed the pumpkin one, and Gethin said, what is it with you and pumpkin? Right, how do you put this in? Lift, open a tab. Right, they're open. Place refill in the bottom unit. I'm assuming I have to take this off first, though. Place the refill, place the refill in the bottom of the unit with the foil facing up. Peel foil and take care not to touch the fragrance. Otherwise, that's like me and chilies. Every time I cut chilies, I'll touch my nose or my eye and then they end up burning. So I'm not gonna touch this. Snap close, place on vent. Right. Peel when ready to use. Geez, I made that more complicated than it needed to be, but it's finally done and it smells so good. I was a bit worried that it was gonna smell too strong, but it's just right. But saying that, tomorrow you watch, I'll open the car and it'll be so strong. I think we possibly may have found the right place for a sunset. There's a first for everything. All the sunsets we've tried to catch and we've been in the wrong position. This time, I think we've nailed it. And the tide's in, that's nice. Should we go for a walk that way or that way? That way. That way? There's loads of people fishing that way. Should we go there? If there are people fishing, to be honest, this is not a place where you can actually fish. Yeah, you watch. We'll go past them now and you see what they catch. No, but literally, it's like that. that oh no, it's not. That's the bottom of the floor on that. No, where? it's not. It's really not. Because every time we've come here, I know what you're saying, the water hasn't been too high. That's deep now. You might catch whales and dolphins. Whales and dolphins. <laughs> I'm That's joking. kind of exaggerating. <laughs> We actually 
actually caught a sunset. All the times we tried chasing one and we were always in the wrong position, this time we sat on the water's edge and we watched it. Actually, I'm seeing spots now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we watch it until it goes completely down? I don't mind, no. Yeah, should we sit here for 10 minutes? Well, we're gonna sit here just to watch it completely go down. So I'm gonna finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see future videos of ours, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for post notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Wicked.